magical place, double rainbow. And the water is just, it couldn't be more perfect. <laughs> Rapidos, the rapids here in Bacalar. Uh, we went yesterday and there was a huge downpour <laughs> right after we got there, but it was actually really fun. The water was about twice as warm as being out in the in the cold air. And it's sunny, it's beautiful right now. Um, a few clouds in the sky, but I looked at the forecast and there's no rain forecasted for today, so it's good. Uh, so we're gonna enjoy Los Rapidos. We came to a crossroads, we'd go to the right or left. We decided to go to the left, which instead of Los Rapidos, it's very close. It's another entry point to the Laguna, and it's 100 paces cheaper. So we're trying to save some money because getting into Belize tomorrow is gonna cost a lot more than we realized with having to buy COVID tests at the border and get to the, anyway, lots of stuff going on. But what we're gonna do is come down here and then rent a kayak and go, we can very easily kayak to Los Rapidos where we were yesterday. Yeah, and the water. Um, the water is so pretty, oh my gosh, can't wait to show you. And also, we wanna come back and go camping here. There's a campground here, which is amazing. So we uh, now are on our kayaks in the lagoon in Bacalar. We're gonna head up the back way up to uh, Los Rapidos. Just new things, I guess not going down the exact same thing over and over again. And there's, we're the only car here. So a lot of people go to Los Rapidos and it kind of get, from the reviews, it kind of can seem a little bit overcrowded, but the lagoon, not a single person here, and you have basically this entire place for yourself. There's Cassie coming up behind me. So if you find yourself wanting a little more seclusion and a little more peace and quiet, go to the lagoon uh, and then paddle up to Los Rapidos. There's a blue heron over here. We kind of just went around the bend from the place that we rented these kayaks. And on the map when I looked before, it did seem like it was just right around the corner, the Los Rapidos, but it's like, a, it kind of gets really narrow and you kind of go down this river. So I think it's that direction, we hope. If not, we'll have to turn around and go a different way, but uh, yeah, we'll see. upstream right now it's really good workout if you come and do this just realize one way you will be having to go upstream it's a little bit harder it's not a huge current but it's big enough that you really have to push to get up but um, it's gonna be so much fun coming back down <laughs> where we were yesterday when there was a big old storm coming through and it was raining. <laughs> now it's bright blue skies, so nice and sunny. There's Nate. 
I went a different direction. There was like a split and I went to the right and I think he went to the left. I think he's over here waiting for me. You know what time we left? Well, he said we have to be back by two or we pay another. Okay. There's Nate. Hey. Woo! So one of the biggest things, uh, if you come to Bacalar, don't step on the Sormota lights. They are very precious to this area. They're what keep the water very clear and filtered and the color, beautiful colors of blue that it is. When you touch them, your oils on your fingers and stuff, it's like coral and messes up uh, the organisms. Word of the wise, don't step on them because we want to keep the color of the Laguna beautiful turquoise. It's so pretty! We're at the top of the, the top of the rapido, so the, the rapids. So we made it all the way upstream and now it's going to be downstream! Back to the rental place. <laughs>
just so you guys know, I'm stepping on the sandy part. I'm not stepping on the stromosolite as I go into the water here, okay? Okay, it's been a wonderful day in Los Rapidos. The water here... Is that Moran? No. The water in Bacalar is unlike any water I think we've ever seen. It's fresh water. And it's just the most brilliant color blue. I mean, that's why it's kind of known as the Lake of Seven Blues, but it's just amazingly beautiful here. And there's parrots! And there's parents. Every single time we come here, we're always more amazed with the things that we find, the people that we meet. And this is another great experience. So if you guys are ever in Mexico, in the Yucatan Peninsula, make sure you stop by Bacalar and come and swim in the amazing water. Yay! Love you.